Welcome back to Football Mundial, where today I'm once again joined by the McCubster himself, Michael McCubbin. Nice, got my name in there twice yeah, there. Yeah. Today we're waving goodbye to some legends, trolling another one, and we've got a contribution from one of That's you it. at home. Exciting. We begin in Brazil, where a legend has decided to hang up his boots after 17 years in the game. Sad times, yes. Despite rumours linking him with a stint in China to wind down his career, Kaka has quit football at the age of 35, and tributes have poured in for the former Milan star. Yes, former teammate Pato called him a friend, companion and idol, while fellow retiree Andrea Perlo said it was a pleasure to play with you and watch you play. Kaka made a tribute of his own and dedicated it to, yeah, you guessed it, Jesus, who he thanked personally on Twitter. I'm sure he was very appreciative of the tribute. Amazingly, the announcement though comes almost 10 years exactly to the day when the Brazilian picked up the Ballon d'Or and he remains the last player to win the prestigious award before Messi and Ronaldo took over proceedings. But enough with the chit chat, let's take a look at some of Kaka's greatest moments. Some fantastic scenes there, but what do you think he should do next? Let us know down below. Now to an even bigger Brazilian legend, if that's even possible, who has made a rather interesting career change. Yes, the man in question is Ronaldinho, is who having been without a club in two years, announced earlier this month that he would officially retire in 2018. Ronnie already acts as an ambassador for former employers Barcelona, and has also said he will carry on with his musical projects mm. and football academies. But now it appears he's adding another string to his bow. Yes, that's because the former World Cup and Champions League winner is going into politics. Oh, According to reports, he wants to run for the Brazilian Senate next year in support of the Patriota Party, who are led by a former army officer known to many as the Brazilian Donald Trump. Oh, no. The party have denied any contact with Ronnie, but have said the door is open for him to join. This would present a big change for the man who spent much of his career on the left wing yeah. and will no doubt cause controversy with fans. That's a good joke, Michael. Yeah. Mike wrote, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm here till Thursday. That's because the man he's endorsing, Jair Bolsonaro, has been classed by some as the most misogynistic, hateful elected official oh, okay. in the democratic world. Big claim there, but probably not the best look for the once universally admired footballer. What are you doing, Ronnie? Those of you who were interested would have seen Real Madrid defeat Gremio to lift a second successive Club World Cup on the weekend. And it was Cristiano Ronaldo, who else, who scored the winner against the Brazilian outfit in Abu Dhabi to top off his most trophy-laden year yet. Yeah, but it clearly wasn't enough to impress Gremio coach Renato Gaucho. Before the match, the manager made the claim that he was more talented during his playing days than the Portuguese forward, who declared himself the greatest player of all time after being awarded the Ballon d'Or earlier this month. As you can imagine, Ronaldo is not in agreement with Renato and reacted to this claim by saying it's not worthy of an answer. Ooh, little bit arrogant from a man who scored less than Lurk Remy this season and will probably never match Messi's output. Turns out, Michael really, really hates Ronaldo. And it's not the only time the Real star has been mugged off this past week. Following the victory over Gremio, he suggested that Los Blancos' arch enemies Barcelona should form a guard of honour before the weekend's Clasico at the Bernabeu to congratulate their rivals. But Barca have flat out refused. What is he thinking? Blaugrana director Guillermo Amor stated the club do not carry out the tradition if they didn't play in the tournament themselves. But we can't imagine they're very keen to do it regardless of their so-called rules. No, this is actually the second time this year Real have won a trophy and not received a guard of honour, oh. as after they triumphed in the UEFA Super Cup in August, Barca took no notice ahead of their own domestic matchup. Cheeky stuff, but who do you think will triumph this weekend, Ooh. Real or Barca? Let us know up there. Next, we have a submission from a fan, and yes, we do care about you guys at home, so make sure you tweet us with some more stories like Danny V. Anthony on Twitter with this one. Yes, on Friday, Kerala Blasters finally grabbed their first Super League win of the season as CK Vineeth's first half strike was enough to secure a 1-0 victory over North East United. Danny was kind enough to share this video of the celebrations after the game. <laughs> Yes, 
That looked like it was absolutely buzzing inside the stadium there. They were clearly relieved to have finally got their first win. Rennie Mullerstein's men were without Dimitar Berbatov, but were able to give Wes Brown his first start. Didn't even know he was still playing. Who knew? But considering North East have scored in just one game so far this season, the former United man had a pretty easy start to life in the ISL and helped keep a clean sheet on his debut. Yes, but do you think your team or league should be getting more attention on Mundial? Do you have any moments you'd like to share with us too? Get at us on Twitter on these handles. We finish up in the USA where fans witnessed a special game in Houston on the weekend. It featured former Yanks legend like Clint Dempsey and Mia Han lining up alongside the likes of NBA stars Steve Nash and YouTube god Jake Paul. All in aid of the victims of Hurricane Harvey. The tropical cyclone devastated Texas and Louisiana in the summer and left over 22,000 children homeless in Houston. So Stuart Holden, who some of you may remember from his playing days at Bolton, got together with Dynamo Charities to set up the match, which so far has raised over $300,000. And the former Houston Dynamo midfielder wrote an ode to the city in the build-up to the game, saying, I care about Houston because Houston cared about me when I moved here. Nice one, Stu. So that was Football Mundial over for another week and nearly over for this Lady year. Can wow. you believe it? Go check out our year in review when it comes out next week. It's an absolute cracker. Yes, but is. for now, Zach, where should they head? Head over to FDFC, where Thomas Muller's personal mastermind went live on the weekend. However, keep an eye out for this weekend's personal mastermind. It involves a upcoming midfielder, shall we say. And as always, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe.